I'm Dave Orzel and you're watching PHTV4. This is Meet the Merchant. We are at Pass Health Foods on College Drive in Palos Heights. And we've got one of the co-owners, Carolyn, here with us today. Carolyn, thank you for taking a few minutes with us today. Um, you guys always have a, you know, I want you to talk about your product. You have a lot of great products here, uh, food and health related. Uh, and then you also do several events. Yes. So I'd, I'd kind of like to talk a, a, about like what's going on this summer or maybe later in the summer yeah. this year. So we have so many things going on. We're kind of in the in the rolling to the end of the year where we've got stuff every month, ever er, you know, an right. event every month. So um, this month, July, we are going to be having a honey tasting because we will have just gotten the fresh batch of the early summer honey. Sometimes it's called spring honey. Um, so to try, it's delicious. And I've heard this, and I, and I don't think I knew this until I talked to you about yeah. this one time before. Yeah, there there are different honeys that come at different times of year. Their coloring can yes. look different. Their taste is a yeah. little bit different. So I like th this one that I'm holding. This is from last summer. This is like the the end of the summer, so it's a little darker. But the spring honey is my favorite and it's because it's really rare actually to find because most honey, most beekeepers, they just mix it all together. So to be able to actually have the honey that's just from that the spring and early summer, it is really unique because it's lighter in color. It has kind of a delicate flavor because it is like those spring sort of um, flowers that they're right. getting it from. You got, I'm sold. I gotta yeah. try it because I am a tea drinker. I love using honey as a yeah. So around. so come in. It's July 13th, Saturday. It'll be from 11 to 3, and we'll have a bunch of different honeys to try. But what we will have just gotten, hopefully, if he can get it bottled, um, we will have just gotten in the honey just from this year, like the freshly, freshly harvested. Like he'll drop off the bottles and we'll open them to taste them, you know, so right. it's really nice. So that's September uh, or, or July, July. <laughs> August. Um, we're going to be having a um, like a rosé and sweet wine tasting. We'll have that um, the first Saturday of the month. So August, I think third. Um, and all of this will be on our website or if you come in, we'll have flyers and things like okay. that. But to try uh, like rosé wines, we have all organic wines. So sweet wines, kind of some summery um, sort of wine, so that'll be fun. That's um, in August. September then, hopefully um, towards the middle of September, we should get the second harvest. So there's two harvests of honey. So we should get the like the later summer honey um, or sometimes called the fall honey. So then we'll have another honey tasting when we get that fresh batch in. So that'll be in September. Um, we'll also be at the Lake Catherine Monarch Butterfly Festival. Um, that's September 21st and 22nd, so mark your calendar because that's always fun. So we should be at that. Um, October, again, see we've got so many things going on. October we'll have an Oktoberfest kind of beer tasting, organic beers, craft uh, beer. And then November, again, is our gluten-free baking contest that we have every year. Um, and hopefully Mayor Straz will come again and be our judge. So, And everything also will be available to taste. So that's always in November, that's really fun. And then once we get to December, we'll have, uh, we have our huge wine tasting. You know, people can come for holiday gifts. Um, that's in the beginning of the month. And then middle of the month in December, we have our essential oil day where people can make stuff for like holiday gifts and you know, um, you know, just fun seasonal kind of scents, sprays and all kinds of stuff you can use for the home. And then in January, which again, this is like so far off, but we have everything all checked off, um, is gonna be our 30th anniversary. So we'll have wow. like a huge extravaganza for well, our 30th anniversary. Well, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. 30 years to be yes. there, that's incredible. Yes. It, I mean, and obviously a tribute to the success no, with how you, you guys are So yeah, we're, we're looking so, forward to it. Good. Well, a lot of great activities, yes. a lot of great events coming up. Uh, check the website. Yes, check right. the website um, or stop in. We'll, we'll have flyers and everything. Right. But um, July 13th, that's going to be our honey tasting. Try the spring honey. Yeah. It's, it's delicious. Great opportunity to get some spring honey. And yeah. then, like you said, yeah, everything going on every month all yes, the way yes. in, so into we got the something 30th every anniversary. Month. Yes, so, Wonderful. And um, the honey tasting, it's also really great for kids. Um, and then they can try, too, you know, like, oh, this is because it's made from our area. So it's right. really kind of... And maybe a just as a little side, uh, you know, as a heads up, for people, if you haven't tried it, yeah. this type of honey tastes way different yeah. than the processed honey you buy off the no, shelf in a grocery store. it's delicious. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm looking forward to that one. Yes. It's on my calendar, yes. July 13th. All right. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Kellen, thank you. Uh, good luck and pre-congratulations on 30 years. Thank you. <laughs>
I'm David Wurzel, and you've been watching Meet the Merchant, and we have been at Pass Health Foods in Palos Heights on College Drive talking with one of the co-owners, Carolyn. Thank you for watching.